You're watching the Varsity Media Sports Network, the home for New York high school sports. Freshman guard number five, Amaya 
Welcome to the Varsity Media Sports Network. My name is Gene Battaglia. Here are the starting lineups, which were just introduced, and our player to watch for Fairport tonight. We're going to single out Ella Maybon. Maybon heading to Colgate after her time. She is a junior, first grade team AGR. For Kearney, certainly Kaya Good has been a player to watch as well. They have such a balanced scoring attack. Kearney getting here, the top seed, 18 and three overall after some tough. Non-conference games, Olden to start. The Kearney Kings, the Lady Kings, have won 14 in a row. For Fairport, they have won 11 in a row. Fairport at 18 and four, Kearney at 18 and three. Kevin Shepard is the head coach of Bishop Kearney. Patrick Muldowney is the head coach of the Red Raiders. As you would expect, Fairport in the red uniforms. The Lady Kings in the whites with the light blue trim. To tip this off, Cadence Hadley will tip it off. Going against Navea Buntley. And the Kings will begin with the possession here. The Class AA Championship game. Glad you're with us here on the Varsity Media Sports Network as the ball goes over to Clarissa Good. Good to the near side to Rowe. Far side, three-pointer by Jackson, hits it. Amaya Jackson from the corner. And that's just good movement, as you see. The defense just a little late getting over there. Three-nothing, Bishop Carney. Abigail Smith. Right baseline, sending it up top, Daru. Now here's the jumper by Maybon, doesn't go. The rebound underneath by Daru, putting it up, does not get it to go, but she was fouled. So Anaya Rowe getting called for the foul. Riley Daru, a four-year starter for this team, misses the first one, 600 boards on season and her along with Abigail Smith two four-year starters so Daru 0 for 2 from the line but then another chance here off the board as Maybon came up with it far side Buntley getting it down low Daru with it on the left wing no look passed and that pinballs around eventually the Kings will come out with it as Jackson comes up with it Kaya Good brings it into the front court 3 nothing Bishop Carney. At the foul line, knocked away, loose ball, but recovering is Anaya Rowe. Rowe down the get, lane goes good, good. Kaya Good, the co-captain with the bucket. It's 5-0 Bishop Kearney. As into the front court goes Abigail Smith. Abigail Smith to Daru, Daru, no look pass, puts it up, and that does not go for Navia Buntley. Navia Buntley, though, will go to the line to shoot too. I'm not sure who the foul was. They put 13 up on the board, but there is no 13 in the game right now as the first free throw is good. We'll see if we can find that out as Buntley now for the second one. So two for two for Navia, Navia Buntley, and they've got the score wrong here, but we have it right. 5-2 is the score. Here 
it is, left side. It goes up and in. Anaya Rowe with the bucket. So Buntley will get called for the foul. And that makes our score seven to two. Trying to convert the three point play as Rowe gets the and one. And now here's some full court pressure here by the Kings as Pucci gets it in the front court to Maybon. Maybon left side going down low. Three ball coming from Smith. No good, but wide open, then can't convert the layup. Putting it up once again is going to be Daru. Daru getting another board, and this time, no, they're going to call block. Wow, and the Raiders will still maintain the possession. Hello, Pucci to inbound from the baseline. Gets it to Abby Smith. 12 on the shot clock. Pucci. Double team coming over the jump ball call. And it'll be Fairport possession. So they do not reset the shot clock on that. It's going to be five seconds as Pucci has to make something happen. Pucci with two flow. A little teardrop is good. Bella Pucci. She's headed to Binghamton following her time at Fairport. It's eight to four. Both fan base is making some noise here, and there's a three ball by Amaya Jackson. Amaya Jackson with two three-pointers. left. This one from the right wing, last one came from the corner. Back to live action. As Buntley puts it up and in. Navia Buntley with four points. Up and down we go, it's 11 to six is our score. Driving down the lane, and Aya Rowe puts it up and in. She's got five points already. It's 13 to six. Outlet pass, Smith trying to get behind the defense. Smith pulling up, finding the trailer, Maybon. Maybon from the elbow. No, does not go, and Jackson the rebound for the Lady Kings. Behind the defense is Anaya Rowe, but picking it off like a defensive back in football was Bella Pucci. Bella Pucci into the front court, takes the three. You betcha. Bella Pucci defensively and offensively, and it's now 13 to nine. Lady Kings into the front court. In the paint, Hadley puts it up, that will not go. Rebound, contested, it's gonna go off a leg and it will remain Bishop Kearney basketball. The head coach of the Red Raiders is Patrick Muldowney. He is in the fourth year coming over from Penfield. Just had a newborn baby, one month old. Congratulations, also has a six and a two year old at home. Here's gonna be the three ball, that's no good. Ella Maybon with a rebound for Fairport as Maybon will bring it into the front court. Guarded by Rowe, Maybon dishing it off and Rue the jumper is good. She gets her first points of the night and it's 13 to 11. It's a Fairport team that has played together a long time. That is what the Kings are up against here as DeRue will knock that one away. Going out of bounds. This will remain BK ball. To inbound, Kaya Good gets it right baseline to Jackson, handing it back to Clarissa Good. Back iron no good. Rebound by Abby Smith. Smith then gets fouled in the backcourt. So Kaya Good getting called for the foul, her first. So that'll be the third foul on the Lady Kings. 13-11 is our score. Into the front court, three on one. Maybon going a reverse layup, won't go. But the putback, that won't fall. Chance for Fairport to tie, they could not. Is into the front court, swinging over left side. Jackson has it knocked away. Great play there by Buntley. Bluntly trying to take it coast to coast, puts it up, does not go, but she drew the foul. And the foul will be on Amaya Jackson, her first. And the fourth team foul. So back at the line, Navia Buntley. First free throw is good. 
Fairport getting here with a win over the School of the Arts, 97-36, 80-67 over Penfield in the semi. As Buntley's now four for four from the line, six points overall. And that makes it a 13-13 score. And they just wanted to make sure that the clock was correct there. Good. Hadley now giving over to Jackson. Jackson crossover dribble, but staying right with her is Ella Maybon. Now right side, Pucci with the block. No, they're going to say the foul. But was it on Pucci? No, it was not on Pucci. It was on Riley DeRue. Her first. First substitution of the game as Macy Ostrander will check in in place of Riley DeRue. Clarissa Good to shoot two, the freshman. Off the front iron. This for Carney to regain the lead. And she hits one of two. BK up now 14-13. As Pucci into the front court. Swings over right side for three ball by Bunley does not go. The rebound underneath by Maybon. Maybon's first bucket gives Fairport their first lead of the game. It's 15-14. Good, going down the lane. Good, puts it up a little too wild. The rebound, coming away with it is Bunley. In traffic, Smith going right through the traffic. Dishes it off, Maybon, the jumper, rattles in. Navi Bunley. Having a big quarter so far. She's got eight points. Lead is at three for the Red Raiders. Jackson driving baseline. Jackson rejected from behind. Maybon with the block. She brings it into the front court. Maybon in a little bit of trouble. Defense coming over, but helping out. Things settled down. Now from the corner, here's the jumper. That's good. Macy Ostrander hitting the shot from the left baseline. That Fairport fan base is fired up right now. Six-point lead for the Raiders. Left side, good with it. Swings it over right side. Here's the jumper. Back iron, no good. Rebound far side by Jackson. Swinging down the lane, now putting it up. And it's in. Anaya Rowe with the bucket. As you can see, the foul there is going to be on Buntley, and that's going to be her second. And she will have to come out with the two fouls as quickly back into the game is Riley DeRue. Talking with head coach Patrick Maldani earlier this week, he said the key to this game was to keep BK out of the paint. And that's one of the reasons why. They're just so good in there. As the three-point play missed there. But coming away with it, Maybon. Four-point lead for the Red Raiders as we're down to 139 remaining in this first quarter. Abby Smith sends it left side. Now in the paint to Pucci. Pucci, the hook shot, doesn't go. And the rebound underneath by Hadley. Hadley pushing it up as Rowe. Rowe trying to go coast to coast, puts it up, does not go. Rebound underneath, offensive foul. Amaya Jackson has just picked up her second. So there's the fifth team foul. And then wisely, the Fairport bench pointing out to the officials, that was five there. They were getting ready to inbound the ball. So this will put Pucci, Pucci at the line. Allie Hall will check in for the Lady Kings in place of Amaya Jackson. Pucci misses the first one. The 
Yep, so Bella Pucci has six points. 21-16 is our score with 118 remaining here in the first quarter. Very entertaining first quarter as Kaya Good between the circles. Right side over to Rowe. Hadley, now the left side, this will go. Back up top, Clarissa Good. Good at the foul line, drift, drifting right side. Shot clock is down to 12. Good passing it off, and then it goes off of hands. That bounces over to Pucci in the end. Fairport defense stands as Pucci into the front court. Pucci going down the lane. The teardrop does not go. She drew contact once again. Foul will be on Kaya Good, her second. So Kaya Good has two. Amaya Jackson has two. And Pucci back at the line to shoot two. Gets the first one to fall. Second free throw is good. Eight points for Pucci in this first quarter. It's a seven point lead for the Red Raiders. Rowe on the right wing. Getting it back now will be good. Kaya good. Sending it over far side to Anaya Rowe. Here's the jumper from the corner. Does not go, but the rebound put back up and in. Anaya Rowe getting the board. She's got nine points overall, but getting behind the defense, laying it up and in is Ella Mabon. So Fairport not holding for the last shot there. Instead, they had the opportunity to get the two points. They will, now they'll take their chances on defense. Kaya Good swinging it back. Rowe, Hadley. Hadley didn't get the shot off in time. And the Fairport fans are on their feet. After one quarter of play here in the Class AA Championship game, it's Fairport 25, Bishop Kearney 18, here on the Varsity Media Sports Network. It's time to get hyped with Varsity Media. We offer an array of video services sure to amp up your team. From staged preseason hype videos with custom lighting and smoke machines to sideline highlights of a big game. How can your team stand out from the crowd? Contact Varsity Media today and let us tailor something your squad will never forget. These are the best times of your life. Capture them in the most creative ways possible with the sports leader, Varsity Media. You're watching the Varsity Media Sports Network, the home for New York high school sports. 25-18 is our score. Fairport getting a balance attack here as we look at the scoring in that quarter as Eight points for Nabia Buntley. We've got eight points for Bella Pucci. Two points for Riley DeRue. Macy Ostrander with a bucket off the bench. Ella Mabon with four points. And for the Lady Kings, it's been Anaya Rowe leading the way. She has nine points overall. Amaya Jackson has hit two three-pointers. So we expected a lot of offense here in this matchup. This has been a treat so far. 18-4 Fairport against 18-3 BK. And then no, these teams did not meet in the regular season. Kaya Good to bring it into the front court. Good top of the key, crossover dribble. Sends it back as Clarissa Good. Now far side Hadley. Hadley's going to be guarded by Riley DeRue. Going down the lane, the teardrop is good for Kaya Good. She's got four points, 25 to 20. What do we have? Oh, it's going to be a foul on the Kings. Kaya Good just picked up her third. She remains in the game. As Bella Pucci with the shot clock at 17, gets it off to Maybon. Maybon has it stripped, take it away. As coming into the front court is going to be Rowe. Rowe, far side, the jumper, no good. 
Rebound underneath. Hadley getting the rebound. Hadley putting it up. That will not go. And this time the rebound by Buntley. Abby Smith into the front court. Smith dribbling with the left hand. Skip pass right side. Buntley for three. You betcha. Navia Buntley has 11 points. Is the defense late in getting over? Draining the three. Biggest lead of the afternoon, or the evening now, we should say, 28 to 20 for the Red Raiders. Hadley's going to launch the three. Back iron, no good. Rebound underneath. Pulled down by Allie Hall. The three ball. As a result, Hall with the rebound. High off the glass and in. Allie Hall delivering the bucket for the Kings. 28 to 22. And again, for Bishop Carney, that is going to be their key. Can they take care of business in the paint? You would think they would have the advantage. They just showed there they could. Maybon on the right wing. Sends it over to Buntley. Shot clock is down to nine. Skip pass as launching that. Abby Smith for three. She's a four-year starter here at Fairport, and she launches the three, her first bucket. Nine-point lead now. Biggest lead of the evening for the Raiders. Good. Sending it over. Kaya Good. Left side. Good in the paint. Puts it up. Does not go. The rebound. Blocked. Ellie Hall gets it. And then trying to fight away for it. Riley DeRue. And this ball will go over to Fairport. Patrick Muldown, he does not want the team to relax. He's yelling push, push. His left side, DeRue with the left hand. Too strong. And the rebound underneath by Hadley. Pushing into the front court is Rowe. Rowe with Maybon trying to alter the shot. And now this is going to be uh, certainly with a player to watch. Anaya Rowe now with 11 points. Cuts the lead to seven. Right side. Jumper off the back iron, no good. The rebound by Hadley underneath. Pushing into the front court. Right side, this is going to go over to Rowe. Rowe the jumper. Back iron, no good. Rebound being batted around. And it'll rain BK basketball. Jackson calling for it. She's open on the right side. Driving on the right wing. Scoop shot does not go. Drew the rebound. Abigail Smith will bring it up the floor. Brings it into the front court. Flings it over far side. Maybon for three. No good. Too strong. Hadley on the far side. And bringing it in will be Kaya Good. Kaya Good trying to take on all defenders. She puts it up, does not go. Rebound put back up. That won't go by Hall. And this will remain Bishop Carney basketball. Got substitutions coming in as Rachel McCoy, number 12, will check in for the first time tonight. Macy Ostrander checking back out. So Smith will get a breather. Also will DeRue. And we get a timeout called on the floor. With 4.06 remaining here in the second, it's Fairport leading by seven here in the Class AA Championship on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Parents and athletes, why leave your college career in the hands of amateurs? Varsity Media produces professional college recruiting videos that you can use to help land a spot on the team. Our highlight reels have proven to save thousands of dollars in college tuition. You've worked hard and put the effort into your high school athletic career. Don't take any chances when it comes to your future. Varsity Media has been producing college recruiting videos since 2010. We understand what college coaches are looking for, and our attention to detail on your highlights will separate your resume from others. Stand out from the crowd. We'll help showcase your talents. Contact Varsity Media today and order a college recruiting video.
This gym is jumping, and if you're watching this live, I'm sure that's coming through. And if you were here and you're watching this on the replay of whatever point in time, you, your call here is uh, the, the Bishop Carney fans leading chants on the far side with cards they're holding up. The student section for Fairport, they have not sat down this whole game. So off the timeout, it's Bishop Kearney basketball as Kaya Good from the baseline to inbound. She'll launch it near midcourt where Clar Clarissa Good will come up with it. Clarissa Good, the freshman, left side, the jumper, no good. Rebound weak side by Anaya Rowe. Possession continuing. Clarissa Good launching another one. That does not go. Hall the rebound, can't get it to fall. Maybon gets fouled. And it's going to be on Hadley with the foul. Thirty-one twenty-four is our score. Pucci between the circles as BK remains here in a man-to-man, -man, and that's going to be taken away. The entry pass, Rowe coming up with a steal. It's a three-on-two. Is driving with the left side, no good by Kaya Good, but coming up with it, Naya Rowe. Rowe putting it up and in. She's got thirteen points. Lead is down to five. It's thirty-one to twenty-six. As Maybon over to Pucci. Oh! Wait a second, how is that? That was not, I don't think that was an over the timeline violation at all. Wow. Left side here is gonna be the jumper is guffing in. Allie Hall from the left block putting up the shot and the foul. So what a change in events here as that call goes against Fairport. And Allie Hall will be at the line to try to convert a conventional three-point play. Abby Smith checking back in and now getting a breather here will be Ella Mabon. Lead is at three now as trying to convert the three-point play will be Allie Hall. Does not get that shot to fall. So she has four points on the evening. As Pucci will bring it into the front court. We're under three minutes to go here as Pucci has it stripped away by Hall. Hall, big block shot. Trying to run the floor is Rowe. Rowe puts it up. In, in, and the foul. Rowe has 15 points. Abby Smith getting called for the foul, her first. Bishop Kearney getting here thanks to a 91-29 win over Henrietta in the opening round in the semifinal. Dispatching Victor 65-44. Rowe leaves that free throw short, so the Fairport lead is down to one. Quick breather for Maybon. She's at the scorer's table next whistle as here will be the jumper too strong by McCoy, but still recovered by Fairport. Right side, Buntley doesn't get it to go. Rebound underneath, another block shot there by Allie Hall, and she makes sure with her elbows it's not taken away. Bishop Kearney can take the lead here, but that shot does not go. Rebound being batted around, put up wildly. That does not go, and the rebound taken down by Bella Pucci. Fairport clinging to the one-point lead as Pucci into the front court. This will go. Pass over to the far side. That goes over to Buntley. Buntley with the left hand. Does not get it to go. Buntley off her hands, and that's going to go over to Bishop Kearney. As Maybon. Back into the game. Pucci will get a breather. It's going to be a very quick breather. As now the feed on the left side going to Good. Good right side. It's going to be intercepted. Buntley with the steal. And Fairport, another defensive stand. Hey, Utah, Utah. 
Right side, Maybon. Maybon putting it up. Too strong back iron rebound by Rowe. Anaya Rowe, though, has it knocked away from the backside. That's going to lead to a turnover as Fairport will come up with it. Maybon dribbling. Maybon right side for Smith for three. Does not go. The shot's not falling for Fairport, but Smith will track down that rebound. Smith. Pass, right block, putting it up. That does not go. Buntley puts it up. No foul called once again. And the rebound by Allie Hall. Fairport gets back defensively as we're down to 46 seconds remaining. Shot does not fall. And we'll get a jump ball call. This will remain Bishop Kearney basketball. Pucci checking back in for the Raiders in place of Rachel McCoy. Also checking back in, Riley Daru will check back in in place of Macy Ostrander. So on the baseline, Kaya good to inbound. Good pushing it back up. The shot that's going to be blocked and saved. Hall for the lead, does not go. And the rebound underneath. Oh, but then touching the baseline was Ella Mabon. Not much you can do on that. Kaya Good on the baseline. Sends it over far side. As going for the steal, Smith can't get it. Hadley, and then running into her is Pucci. That'll be the first on Pucci. That is a non-shooting foul. But the issue here now is with that foul now, there's a 2.2 second differential between the shot and game clock. Carney should hold for the last shot here is what they should do. Is now good. She's got other ideas. Takes the foul line jumper. Clangs off Hall with a rebound. And the foul is going to be on Riley Daru, her second. <laughs> Macy Ostrander to check in. And she'll check in for Daru, just so Daru does not pick up a third here. So Allie Hall missed her previous free throw. She's going to get two here. And she'll get that to roll in to tie the game 31-31. And we have our second lead change of the game. Bishop Kearney retakes the lead. It's 32-31 to as Jackson will check back in for Kaya Good. Make that Anaya Rowe checking in for Kaya Good. So 19.8 seconds remaining, and Fairport here can retake the lead. And you would think they're going to hold for the last shot, and that seems to be the plan here. As the veteran, Bella Pucci. Pucci dribbling, sends it over left side. Smith for three. Does not go. The rebound by Hall. It's intercepted. Buntley can't save it, though. So two seconds remaining on... Wow, they're saying, yeah, so originally they were saying ball for Fairport, and the Kearney fans were going crazy. Indeed, that was Kearney ball. Will that count? It would count. And it goes off the iron, the shot by Anaya Rowe. Wow, what a first half we had. 32-31, Bishop Kearney leading by one. So we will step aside. We'll come back with about a minute remaining here in the half. So keep us logged on. Don't go anywhere. So glad you're with us here tonight. The Class AA Final on the Varsity Media Sports Network. It's time to get hyped with Varsity Media. We offer an array of video services sure to amp up your team. From stage preseason hype videos with custom lighting and smoke machines to sideline highlights of a big game. How can your team stand out from the crowd? Contact Varsity Media today and let us tailor something your squad will never forget. These are the best times of your life. Capture them in the most creative ways possible with the sports leader, Varsity Media. If you're interested in staying involved with the sports you've enjoyed over the years, we may have an opportunity for you. Section 5 Athletics is currently looking for officials for several sports. Serving as a Section 5 official provides a great way to stay active. 
contribute to the sports you love, and earn money while making your own schedule. Visit section5.org slash officials for more information and to express your interest. Arjulo, over the middle, he's got a man. It's complete. See you later. See you later. Going long, wide open, Perazzi. He gets it. Perazzi, foot raise, 10, 5, bank it. Touchdown. Punch, power punch. Trickery, Ryder gets it back, goes over the top for Haberman. What a catch! Just Ross Simmons strips him, that's loose, and Ross Simmons is going to take this in the other direction. Make it! Touchdown! Touchdown, East! Parents and athletes, why leave your college career in the hands of amateurs? Varsity Media produces professional college recruiting videos that you can use to help land a spot on the team. Our highlight reels have proven to save thousands of dollars in college tuition. You've worked hard and put the effort into your high school athletic career. Don't take any chances when it comes to your future. Varsity Media has been producing college recruiting videos since 2010. We understand what college coaches are looking for and our attention to detail on your highlights will separate your resume from others. Stand out from the crowd. We'll help showcase your talents. Contact Varsity Media today and order a college recruiting video. You're watching the Varsity Media Sports Network, the home for New York high school sports.
You're watching the Varsity Media Sports Network, the home for New York high school sports. Over the middle, he's got a man. It's complete. See you later. See you later. Going long, wide open. Perazzi, he gets it. Perazzi, foot raise, ten, five, make it. Touchdown. Punch, power punch. The trickery rider gets it back. Goes over the top for Haberman. What a catch! Just Ross Simmons strips him, that's loose, and Ross Simmons is gonna take this the other direction. Make it! Touchdown! Touchdown East! If you're interested in staying involved with the sports you've enjoyed over the years, we may have an opportunity for you. Section 5 Athletics is currently looking for officials for several sports. Serving as a Section 5 official provides a great way to stay active, contribute to the sports you love, and earn money while making your own schedule. Visit section5.org slash officials for more information and to express your interest. It's time to get hyped with Varsity Media. We offer an array of video services sure to amp up your team. From staged preseason hype videos with custom lighting and smoke machines to sideline highlights of a big game. How can your team stand out from the crowd? Contact Varsity Media today and let us tailor something your squad will never forget. These are the best times of your life. Capture them in the most creative ways possible with the sports leader, Varsity Media. Kearney leading by one, 32 to 31. That was an 8-0 run to close out the second quarter. So that was the difference. And talking to a lot of people, that was a missed timeline call and over the back that shouldn't have been called. And it never comes down to one play, certainly, but that's just something to kind of keep in mind. It should have just come down to one possession here. Leading scores for both teams. Navia Buntley with 11 points for the Red Raiders. Bella Pucci also chipping in with eight, but it's been a Naya Rowe getting it done. 15 points for Naya Rowe tonight. And let's not discount the efforts of Allie Hall for the Bishop Kearney Kings underneath. Coming off the bench, doing a great job in the paint. Foul trouble, Riley Daru has two. Navia Buntley has two for the Raiders. For the Kings, Kaya Good has three. So on the arrow, it will be Fairport to begin the possession here. And what was a very entertaining first half, everything you would want in a championship game. Eight minutes going up on the clock here. Pucci swinging it into Smith. Smith to the right side as Maybon has it. Maybon pushing it back. 
Pucci between the circles. Pucci dribbling. Pucci, little hop step. Teardrop does not go. Trying to get that rebound. The rebound put back up. That will not go for Riley DeRue. And then taking right back, though, is Buntley. Buntley to Maybon. Off the elbow. The shot's not falling. Hadley with the rebound. It goes off her foot. So the Kings not snapping down the rebounds here to open up the third quarter. Fairport maintaining the possession. First 30 going up on the shot clock. As Buntley will have it, and Fairport will work it around. Kings remaining in a man-to-man -man here. As Pucci will call out a play. 15 on the shot clock. DeRue getting it down low and then a miscommunication, but still doesn't hurt him as it goes off the hands of Ali Hall. 12 remaining on the shot clock. Pucci to inbound from the baseline. Pucci getting it, quick shot does not go, and then the rebound, putting it up, that will not go, put back, still won't go. It might have been seven opportunities for Fairport to retake the lead there, three on that last sequence, and finally BK will come up with it. One minute gone by here in the third quarter, and this is the first offensive possession here for the Kings, is on the far side, it'll be Jackson, Hadley will launch the three. Does not fall. Rebound being contested. Pucci comes up with it. Pucci outletting to Maybon. Maybon catching it in transition. Does not go. She draws the foul. And if that's on Jackson, that'll be her third. It is. So at the line will be Ella Maybon. First time to the line for Maybon. And does not get it to go. She's going to be going to the Patriot League, Colgate, fine institution. First team all greater Rochester. She's a junior, so we'll see her one more year. Here's going to be the second free throw attempt. This to tie the game. And that does not go. But then Daru trying for the steal, cannot get it. Anaya Rowe in the backcourt. She's in trouble. She picked up her dribble. What is the whistle? What was the, it, it's an inadvertent whistle. Wow, what a break there for Carney as Rowe was in trouble and that's, what do we call that? It's an inadvertent whistle. Wow, inadvertent whistle is the call. Yeah, the official, it was almost like he thought he heard call for timeout, but there was no call for timeout. So the Kearney Lady Kings will bring it in as good on the left side. Good, sending it back. Hadley going down the lane, puts it off the glass, rolls off the rim, rebound underneath by Daru, pops out to Smith. Fairport defense holds once again into the front court that deflects to the far side and then knocked away and out of bounds. This will remain Fairport basketball. Abby Smith, four-year starter to inbound from the far sideline. She'll send it in to Daru. Daru going to the paint, does not go. Abby Smith, excuse me, Allie Hall with another great defensive play there to alter the shot. She has been a difference maker since coming off the bench. As good. Driving left side is Rowe. Rowe to Smith, that's rejected by Rue. And then the outlet pass getting behind the defense. Here's Buntley. Buntley going in, laying it up and in. And Fairport retakes the lead. Our third lead change tonight. Buntley now with 13 points. 33-32 Red Raiders. Kaya Good launching a three. It's good. Kaya Good with seven points. 35-33 is our score. Maybon on the right side, crossover dribble. Sends over left side, Daru the jumper, that is no good. It was 
too strong. Nobody on the weak side. The outlet pass trying to get behind the defense. Here's Jackson. Jackson putting it up. That's wild. And then underneath, Pucci coming up with it. Pucci running the floor. Bringing it to the front court. Didn't like the three. We'll launch it over to Smith for three. Fairport retakes the lead. Abby Smith with her second three ball of the evening. Our fourth lead change of the night as well. There's Jackson on the right side. She'll launch a three. That will not go. Rebound underneath by Daru and Smith in the corner. Fairport, they will push it up the floor. It's Fairport, right side. Here's Buntley going down. Right wing, rolls in. Navia Buntley has 15 points. Fairport is up by three. Back and forth game is now Jackson. Jumper will not go from about 12. And the rebound underneath by Riley Daru. Maybon into the front court. Near side jumper for Butley. Goes off the back iron. No good. And the rebound underneath by Kaya Good. Kaya Good does not have the numbers, but she will take it to the rim. And she drew contact. Bella Pucci picking up her second. As Macy Ostrander will check in for Navia Buntley. Kaya Good here to take the free throw. Makes the first one, the co-captain, the senior. And misses the second, but a whistle. Is that a lane violation? It is. All right, so the lane violation going against Fairport. Here's Good. And she misses again, though. And Fairport nursing this two-point lead. Pucci swings it over far side to Maybon for three. No good, weak side rebound by Clarissa Good. And Clarissa Good pushing it up the floor. Sends it over far side, Hadley for three in the lead. No, too strong, and it goes out of bounds. Over to Fairport. That was a quick breather for Navia Buntley as she will now check in for Riley Daru. Maybon to bring it into the front court. Fairport by two, 38-36. Foul line jumper does not go for Maybon. Allie Hall with the rebound. Ball going into the front court. As Kaya Good sending over far side. Hall trying to post up left side. Instead wide open for the jumper. That does not go for Anaya Rowe. Whistle. And it's going to go over to Fairport. An over-the-back call going against Allie Hall. That will be her first. 3.15 to go here in the third quarter. As uh, Allie Hall will check out, Amaya Jackson checking back in. And I think that's been a big, big difference for BK here. That Hall has done a lot of the dirty work underneath here as now it'll be the pass left side, putting it up. That will not go for Buntley. The rebound underneath Hadley. They'll call the jump ball, and it's going to be in favor of the Kings. So a two-pointer will tie this game. The inbound, far side, as Clarissa Good. Crossover, blocked from behind by Smith. And then do they call a foul? They call the foul. So Macy Ostrander will get called for the foul, her first. Only the second on uh, the Red Raiders here in this quarter. So Cadence Hadley, no points yet for Cadence today. And she will throw it off the back iron, missing the first free throw.
Second free throw is good. One point game, 38 to 37. As Pucci into the front court, flings it right side. Going down the lane, then putting it up, losing the handle was Buntley, but Daru going to the floor, and a timeout called by Fairport. As Daru was in trouble, but then hearing it, Patrick Maldani calling the timeout to maintain the possession. It's got a thriller here tonight in the Class AA final. Fairport by one as we take this break on the Varsity Media Sports Network. If you're interested in staying involved with the sports you've enjoyed over the years, we may have an opportunity for you. Section 5 Athletics is currently looking for officials for several sports. Serving as a Section 5 official provides a great way to stay active, contribute to the sports you love, and earn money while making your own schedule. Visit section5.org slash officials for more information and to express your interest. You wonder if that was a makeup call, to be honest, because Riley Daru, when she was fighting for that ball, I don't know if she ever had the possession. And you got to have the possession in order for someone to call the timeout. So it will be fair for basketball as Pucci from underneath her own basket gets it right to Maybon, puts it up and in. Ella Maybon has six points. It's a three-point lead for the Raiders. Good top of the key over the right side. Good getting it back. Guarded by Buntley. Getting it to Hadley. Hanley spinning in the paint. Will not go. Ball being batted around. Now swinging it out. Here's Clarissa Good. That goes in. Clarissa Good, her first field goal of the evening, cuts the lead down to one. And then getting tripped in the backcourt was Pucci as Clarissa Good getting tangled up. That will be Clarissa's first penalty, first foul. Pucci, well, Clarissa Good committing another one. Wait a second. They called that on Bella Pucci? They called it on Bella Pucci. Bella Pucci was incredulous on that. That's going to be the third on Pucci. Here's the open three. Clarissa missing that one. Buntley with the rebound. Now the outlet pass, getting behind the defense. Going, Maybon putting it up and in, and the foul! Jackson committing the foul. And the Fairport fans behind us are going crazy. As now Maybon at the line to try to convert the three-point play. Too short, rebound will come out to Clarissa Good. Clarissa Good in transition, putting it up and in, just getting right behind the defense. She's got five points on the night, cutting now to a one-point lead for Fairport. We're down to 138 remaining in the third quarter, putting it between the legs, going to the hardwood, and then will they call a jump ball? So the arrow will be in favor of the Raiders. Bella Pucci will check out. Checking in will be Rachel McCoy. Into the backcourt this will go as Abby Smith will take over the point guard duties. Smith double teamed, gets it off. Open, cutter back to Smith, takes it right in the chops but gets it back, rotates it over to McCoy. Shot clock is at seven. McCoy bounce pass, getting over near side. Smith, open three, does not go. And it counts right as the shot clock expires. <laughs> Foul will be on Allie Hall, her second. Riley Daru, come under pressure. <laughs> Riley Daru. Puts it up, and that does not go. Daru 0 for 3 from the line tonight. 
and the lead is at three. As into the front court goes Kaya Good. Good crossover dribble. Right hand floater does not go. Ball batted out and it's going to be recovered by Clarissa Good. Clarissa Good crossover dribble. We've got a three second violation, five second violation in the paint. As Pucci will check back in. Pucci coming in in place of Rachel McCoy. Abby Smith in the backcourt. Careful not to go over, but then they're going to get the reach in. And that's going to be on Anaya Rowe. And that should put, yes, that should be, uh, they're over the limit here in this quarter. So at the line will be Abby Smith, her first trip to the line this evening. Does not get it to go. And as a team now, Fairport has missed nine free throws, but they get the offensive board, and then Smith is going to be fouled again. And that's going to be on Kaya Good. That is Kaya Good's fourth. Rachel McCoy will check in for Bella Pucci. And now still back at the line, Abby Smith. Smith misses again. So again, some points being left out there on the charity stripe by Fairport. Smith. She delivers on the next one. 45-41 is our score. BK cannot hold for the last shot here. Is Kaya Good sends it over far side. Good on the right wing. Hall. Now here's the three. Back iron, no good, but that's going to be tracked down by Kaya Good. Hadley launching the three. That will not go. Hall the rebound underneath, and we're going to get a block here. And a foul against Fairport. So Ella Maybon getting called for her first as Pucci will check in in place of Rachel McCoy. So Allie Hall at the line. She's one of two from the line this evening. Hall will miss the first one. Hall, second free throw, gets it to go. So she's two of four from the line. And a timeout called. It's a full timeout here. Fairport leading by three. We are late in the third here in the Class AA Championship on the Far City Media Sports Network. Parents and athletes. Why leave your college career in the hands of amateurs? Varsity Media produces professional college recruiting videos that you can use to help land a spot on the team. Our highlight reels have proven to save thousands of dollars in college tuition. You've worked hard and put the effort into your high school athletic career. Don't take any chances when it comes to your future. Varsity Media has been producing college recruiting videos since 2010. We understand what college coaches are looking for, and our attention to detail on your highlights will separate your resume from others. Stand out from the crowd will help showcase your talents. Contact Varsity Media today and order a college recruiting video. Fairport basketball, and you would assume they're going to hold for the last shot, and it's interesting. It looks like the Lady Kings are going to come out with some full-court pressure here, trying to get a possession, perhaps a steal. Go, go, go. 
as Maybon will hand it off to Pucci. Pucci will bring it into the front court. Picking up her dribble, she's in trouble. She'll get to the near side to Rue, getting it to Maybon. Maybon, foul line jumper, too short. The rebound by Jackson. Jackson on the far side, and then just a wild shot does not go. And we go to the fourth with Fairport leading here 45 to 42. This is going to be a lot of fun. Don't get anywhere on the Varsity Media Sports Network. If you're interested in staying involved with the sports you've enjoyed over the years, we may have an opportunity for you. Section 5 Athletics is currently looking for officials for several sports. Serving as a Section 5 official provides a great way to stay active, contribute to the sports you love, and earn money while making your own schedule. Visit section5.org slash officials for more information and to express your interest. You're watching the Varsity Media Sports Network, the home for New York high school sports. In that second quarter for Bishop Carney, they really didn't get the ball to Anaya Rowe. She had 15 points in that first half. If they can get Rowe a few more looks, work that in, and then if they can go with the two big forces down low, Allie Hall and Cadence Hadley, that would be the plan for Bishop Carney. For the Red Raiders, just keep up with a balanced attack here so far. As it's 13 points for Navia Buntley, eight points for Bella Pucci, eight points for Ella Maybon. And off the arrow, Bishop Carney to begin the possession here as we are in the fourth quarter of the championship game. At the foul line, the elbow, the jumper, that is good. Kaya Good with the bucket. Kaya Good has nine, pressure in the backcourt, that cuts the lead to one. As Smith will get out of danger here and now set up the offense. The four-year starter bouncing it over to Maybon. Maybon, right elbow, dishing it off, last second reverse layup attempt for Buntley does not go. And now Bishop Carney can take the lead with points here as this is Rowe trying to put it up, does not go, but she drew contact. And the foul will be on Maybon, her second. So two shots coming up for Anaya Rowe, the sophomore guard. Makes the first one and we are tied. This for Bishop Carney to take the lead. No good. Rebound by Fairport in a tie game, 45-45. Maybon getting the handoff. Pucci calling for it on the left side. Pucci driving. Now left corner, she comes up with it. 10 on the shot clock. Here's the three ball. Buntley, that does not go. And the rebound, Daru cannot get to it. As Pucci with a steal in the backcourt. Bella Pucci coming up with it in a tie game as Pucci dribbling, handing it back to Maybon. Maybon has Smith open. She'll take it himself. Does not go. Gets the rebound, dishes it off. The Buntley puts it up and in. Buntley now with 15. Fairport retakes the lead. It's 47 45. Kaya Good puts it behind her back for three in the lead. Does not go. Rebound underneath, being battled for. Still no call, is it a jump ball? It is a jump ball. And it'll be Fairport basketball. Smith, bringing it over the timeline. Chance of let's go Fairport from the student section to our right. 15 on the shot clock. Buntley putting it up. Rattles around, does not go. Daru, the rebound, and then she's going up, and they're going to call the foul, and Clarissa Good was calling for a jump ball. 
Yeah, it's gonna be on Anaya Rowe, her third. So Rowe with three, Jackson with three, Kaya Good with four. So if there's one thing that Bishop Kearney is not, it's deep on the bench, as here will be the lefty free throw that does not go for Riley DeRue. She's now 0 for 4 from the line tonight. Here's going to be the shot that's going to be up and in by Anaya Rowe. We are tied 47-47. Putting it behind the back, and then the steal. Good, the outlet pass. Clarissa Good putting it up, trying to save it. Pucci coming down with it. Back and forth we go. Pucci into the front court. Three on one, going up. The layup, no good. The rebound by Buntley putting it up and in. 17 points for Navia Buntley and Furport with 521 remaining. Up by two. Kaya Good into the front court, left side. Kaya Good putting it up, too short. And then the rebound by Daru. Pucci has to dish it off and she'll throw it into the front court to Mabin. Mabin to Buntley on the left side. Buntley has had the hot hand, but this time that's gonna be stuffed by Allie Hall. It's gonna be a jump ball and the arrow going in favor of BK. Wow. BK fans on their feet. Fairport fans on their feet. And now coming in will be Macy Ostrander. Ostrander will give Navia Buntley a breather. Bring it into the front court will be good. Over left side to Rowe. Rowe, driving right wing, puts it up and in, and we're tied once again. So Rowe, back on the board. She's got 17 to lead the Kings, the Lady Kings. We're tied at 49. Maybon, handing it off to Pucci. Pucci to Maybon. Maybon, right side. Ostrander for three, does not go. The rebound on the weak side by Daru. Daru puts it up, but Hall with the stuff. And Bishop Carney with a chance now to take the lead as that ball goes into the front court and it touches the sideline. Head coach Kevin Shepard was right there, didn't like the call. Quickly back into the game comes Navia Buntley. And getting a quick breather will be Riley Daru. Four twelve remaining. Tie game in the championship. Sending it back. Maybon. Maybon left side. Pucci for three. No good. Hall trying to snap down the rebound. Hadley comes up with it, and Hadley will hand it off to Good, and then the foul in the backcourt. It's going to be on Buntley. The third for Buntley, the second on Fairport this quarter. Kaya Good in the front court. Rowe putting it up, rolls off the rim. Pucci the rebound underneath, she'll get it to Maybon. Maybon, full force, sends it off to Buntley. Buntley putting it up, that does not go. Buntley gets her own rebound, it's gonna be stuffed by Hall. Allie Hall with the block. And now coming up into the front court is Rowe. Rowe for the lead, the scoop shot, it's in. And we've got our fifth lead change of the night. 19 points for Anaya Rowe as Carney is up by two. And then Hadley with a steal in the backcourt. Can she save it? She does. And now the Carney sideline is going crazy. As Clarissa good going to the rack on the crossover. Timeout, Fairport. Big sequence there for Carney as the Lady Kings take a four point lead with 3.06 remaining. A quick break here. On the varsity. It's time to get hyped. 
with Varsity Media. We offer an array of video services sure to amp up your team. From staged preseason hype videos with custom lighting and smoke machines to sideline highlights of a big game. How can your team stand out from the crowd? Contact Varsity Media today and let us tailor something your squad will never forget. These are the best times of your life. Capture them in the most creative ways possible with the sports leader, Varsity Media. Big sequence there with the bucket and just everybody participating. You had Hall with a block, you had Hadley with a save, you had Good and Rowe. So Bishop Kearney digging deep to take a four point lead. Now it's Fairport's turn to answer. And you can see there are many fans that are just on their feet here. Fairport will have to bring this the length of the floor. So Lady Kings will still stay with Hadley and Allie Hall down low. As Maybon puts it behind the back and then breaks the ankles of Clarissa Good. Left side, Pucci for three in the lead. No, it's going to be too short. It's actually a four-point game. Now here is going to be the Kings, and a foul is going to be called. That will only be a non-shooting foul, and it's going to be the fourth on Bella Pucci. With 2.52 remaining. Fairport needs a stop here. Into the backcourt this goes. Good with it. Between the circles. Good left side. Guarded by Smith. Good. Puts it up too short. Rebound and coming away with it is Maybon. Maybon dribbling out of trouble. Brings it into the front court. The Buntley. Buntley on the right side. Fairport is down by four. As now we're down to two and a half remaining. Resetting is going to be Abby Smith. Smith lobbing it. Going down the right side is going to be Buntley. Buntley handing it back. Shot clock is at five. Is now the pass going. Maybon losing the handle. And eventually Bishop Carney is going to get the hold here. Did they reset the shot clock? They did. And now we're going to have a jump ball. Carney is going crazy. They should not have reset the shot clock. Did, did Carney really ever have the possession there? Kevin Shepard is hot over on the Kearney sideline, I think for good reason, but it will remain Fairport basketball. Everything you want in a championship game, including calls like that, but we don't have replay here, folks. So on we go, and Fairport maintains a possession, and Pucci, they're going to say knocked away by Kearney. We're down to 204 remaining. Now, you get the idea that Fairport's got to get some points here. And now the official going over to the scorer's table. Scorer's table calling over the officials. And we'll have a timeout here. We will take one, we will keep it right here. So, sensing that his team needs a better possession, you could see the Fairport, that last possession, for whatever reason, the shot clock had basically expired. Didn't get that horn. You got the reset there. Patrick Muldowney is in his fourth year with Fairport, coaching up his team. Kevin Shepard on the opposite side. Wow. 
So Daru is not out there. Ostrander is for Fairport. Now here comes Daru, and Daru will check in. At the next whistle, they will allow, now they'll allow her to check in. Two oh four remaining. Carney leading by four. We get a whistle, and they're going to call Carissa Good. Wow! Throwing elbows underneath the freshman. That's a big, big penalty. I couldn't see it, I was watching the ball there, so this was away from the basketball, throwing elbows, so the technical called, and now at the line is Ella Mabon. Mabon 0 for 3 from the line tonight. Does not get it to go. She's gotta shake it off, and at least get one here. Off the iron. Pucci on the far sideline to inbound, and it still will be Fairport basketball. All this has happened with no time expiring on the clock, by the way. We're still at 2.04 remaining as Smith to inbound from the far side. She'll get it over to Buntley. Buntley's had the hot hand here in the second half. Buntley going down the lane. Drew contact underneath Hall with the rebound, and the jump ball will be called. And it will remain Carney basketball. Kings to bring it up as Kaya Good with it. Good over the timeline. Anaya Rowe, Rowe right side, puts it high off the glass. It will not go, the rebound underneath by Riley Daru. And Daru will get it over. Trying to get it out of trouble will be Smith, Abby Smith into the front court. This goes, no! It's a turnover as into the backcourt, Good going. And then Good is fouled. So at the line will be Kaya Good, the co-captain. Make that Clarissa good. Two shots for Clarissa good. And she gets the first one to fall. Good with eight points on the night. And she does not get the second one. One for two, it's a five point game. We're down to 128 remaining. Timeout called by Fairport. So the Raiders call the timeout. They need a good sequence, they need a quick sequence here. 54-49 is our score. We'll take a quick break here on the Varsity Media Sports Network. It's time to get hyped with Varsity Media. We offer an array of video services sure to amp up your team. From staged preseason hype videos with custom lighting and smoke machines to sideline highlights of a big game. How can your team stand out from the crowd? Contact Varsity Media today and let us tailor something your squad will never forget. These are the best times of your life. Capture them in the most creative ways possible with the sports leader, Varsity Media. You're watching the Varsity Media Sports Network, the home for New York high school sports. Difference in this game, eight for 21 for Fairport from the charity stripe. That's 13 points left on the floor in a five point game. That's large right now. 126 remaining, 
good news for the Fairport faithful. There is still time, but you need to do something on this possession. Abby Smith to inbound right in front of our broadcast location. Sends it over, it's stolen away into the backcourt, but then saving it is Maybon. Maybon gets it right back. Maybon going down the lane, dishing it off to Daru, puts it up and in. It's a three point game, 54 to 51. 110 remaining, and let's see if BK elects to bleed clock here. As the far side will be Anaya Rowe, guarded by Maybon. Rowe, and then a block. What's the call? They're looking at each other. They will call the foul on Maybon. That is going to be Maybon. The 15 foul. Third on Maybon, so at the line will be Hadley. Hadley one of two tonight from the line. This to make it a two possession game. Hadley again for a two possession game. Makes it. Four point lead for Bishop Carney is now we're under a minute to go here as Smith into the front court. Smith in trouble, gets it over to Pucci. Pucci dribbling, Pucci sends it over to Buntley. They work it around and then the steal. And it's going to be not saved by Kearney. 16 on the shot clock, 46 on the game clock. Maybon, the three pointer no good, too strong. The rebound underneath and then taking it away is going to be Clarissa Good and then she's going to be fouled. They had no choice with 37 seconds remaining. That was a good look for Navia Buntley. So Clarissa Good at the line to shoot two. Misses the first. Now this is big here because this would mean a six point game, you'd have to go for two three pointers. Here's Clarissa Good, the second free throw. Does not go front iron, then Maybaum with the rebound, quick time out called by Fairport. We'll keep it right here with 36 seconds remaining. So with it being a four point game, 55-51, You don't have to go for three here, but anything you do, you should do it quick, in my opinion. And again, it's been Buntley and Pucci. Those have been the two players. Can you draw up something here? Patrick Muldowney came over four years ago from Penfield, and the first year was a little bit rough. But these girls, he has grown with them to this point. And now here they are in the sectional championship game. Winners of 11 in a row. Now for Bishop Carney, this is their 12th straight appearance in the final. This has been a nail biter, certainly. As the King fans from the far side, they're on their feet. The Fairport students are on their feet. It'll be Abby Smith to inbound right in front of her own bench. 36 seconds remaining. Smith still looking, still looking. Gets it over to Pucci. Pucci to the corner. Now the feed left side. Buntley lost the handle. 
Buntley puts it up anyways, does not go. And then Allie Hall with the rebound. Hall in trouble, she'll dish it off to Hadley. Hadley, she's in trouble, she dishes it off. And then a quick foul here with 21 seconds remaining. And it'll be Kaya Good going to the line. Oh, for Pucci, that's her fifth. She had to take, commit the foul. So Rachel McCoy will check in, and now two big free throws for Kaya Good as we're down to 21 seconds remaining here. Good, putting it up, and that does not go. Good, second free throw is good. And now Fairport will use their last time out. That's it. 56-51 is our score. Still enough time. But the, the contributions from this Kings team. On offense, it's been Anaya Rowe. Ball handling, Clarissa Good. Kaya Good, leadership, co-captain. Hadley down low, and then Allie Hall down low. It's, it's, the, the Kings are certainly worthy here. No doubt about it. And there are the BK fans. They're feeling pretty good up by five here with 21 seconds remaining. Fairport is going to use every second here. Carney is waiting. DeRue to inbound. Remember, Pucci is out here. Here's going to be the left side. 19, 18 seconds remaining. The three ball. It's going to be short. DeRue with the rebound. No good. She gets it back. Does not go. Another block shot. Puts it up again. And this time they will call the foul. 10 seconds remaining. So Allie Hall getting called for the foul. So Riley DeRue 0 for 4 from the line tonight. It does not go. Second free throw. She gets that to go. It's a four-point game, however. A steal is needed, a quick foul. Eight seconds remaining, there's the foul. It's gonna be committed by Navia Buntley. And the fans of the far side chanting, BK, BK. Good at the foul line. She will make the first one. Second free throw. Is good. Quick shot is needed here. Is bringing it to the front court. Is going to be Maybon. Maybon with three seconds remaining. Gets it off. Here is the jumper. As off. And then the Bishop Carney Kings. Hold on. They are the champions of Class AA, a championship game for the ages, as now fans will storm the floor here and heartbreak in Fairport. If that doesn't tell you everything, the celebration on one end and then in tears, that's Ella Maybon.
Wow. Congratulations to Bishop Carney. They are going to be a tough out in the state tournament. The Kings go to 19 and 3 on the season. Fairport ends their year at 18 and 5. Momentarily, we will have the Class AA championship teams announced or the all tournament team announced and the award ceremony. So if you're a fan of Bishop Carney, certainly stick around. We will carry this live for you here on the Varsity Media Sports Network. As we will go now, we will go to public address announcer Pat Fahey for the award ceremony. From 
Fairport. Bella Pucci. From Bishop County, Kaya Good. From Fairport, Navia Buckley. From Bishop County, Clarissa Good. As selected as the most valuable player of the 2022 Class AA Tournament, from Bishop Carney, Anaya Rowe! <laughs> Bands on 2022, all-tournament team and most valuable player. Strike a pose, ladies. Congratulations, ladies. What an honor. Yeah. But I love it. It's fun. Yeah. I wish I could do it too. And now let's meet the entire squad. For the class double A champion, Bishop Carney Lee B. Number one, freshman Clarissa Good. Number two, sophomore Anaya. Number three, senior captain, Kaya Good. Number four, senior center, Akon Awuk. Freshman guard, Amaya Jackson. Freshman guard, Asia Wilson. Caden Sadley. Sophomore forward, Ellie Hall. Sophomore center, Hella Gus. And sophomore forward, Marciana McDowell. The assistant coaches, Hank Warfield and Rosa Graham. And at this time, it's my pleasure to announce the Class AA Championship Trophy to the captains and Coach Kevin Shepard of the Bishop Party Lady Kings. Thank you for watching this production of the Varsity Media Sports Network. Thank you for everybody in Section 5 as well. And, and the heartbreak for Fairport certainly tonight. Just the two sides. And the elation for Bishop Kearney. Just what a game this was in the Class AA Championship game. And really just kind of exemplifies what is just good about high school sports. Thank you for watching here tonight. As congratulations once again to Kevin Shepard and his Bishop Kearney Lady Kings, who are the champions of Class AA, 58-52, the win over Fairport.
This has been a production of Varsity Media Sports Network.